Topping things off tonight, the gaming saga continues with both the Attorney General's office and the Executive Branch lobbying, uh, lobbying accusations of flip-flopping against each other. Deputy AG Pat Mason says the acting governor changing his position on the gaming licenses further justifies their filing of the writ of mandate against them. The writ was issued to the Executive Branch and the Department of Revenue and Taxation on Friday. Meantime, Revenue Tax Director Artie Logan says Mason previously said that the gaming machines were legal, which is why he doesn't understand the push to immediately revoke these licenses. And while Revenue Tax continues to allow these businesses the due process, the AG's office continues to enforce Guam's laws against gambling devices.